Hey guys, this is Fernie for Hialeah Kicks Ass. We're here today to make some authentic Cuban coffee con espumita, porque go sin espumita, it sucks, in a Cuban-American household. I hope you're ready for this. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna be using this size coffee maker right here. It's small, about the size of your hand, because they come in different sizes, as you can see. This is some of the original stuff that they used to use. Called a tetera, you'd put your coffee in here, tetera, you say that, tetera. You put the coffee in here, pour it in, and the coffee comes out the bottom, but we are going this route. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, the first thing you wanna do is unscrew it. Once you unscrew it, you remove the strainer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this with water up to that little thing right there, right? So you're gonna fill it in, doesn't matter if it's hot water or cold water, and you fill it to right there. And that's step one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a very important step here, which is how to pack your coffee in here. All right, we're gonna get the coffee. Very simply, we're gonna get our coffee. We're gonna fill this up and we're gonna make sure that it's packed. It's gotta be a little packed, because if not, it's gonna be quite watery. You don't get to get that wow. A wow is another thing that makes Cuban coffee suck. All right, so there you go. You pack it in, you pack it in. I see a preladito. Looks pretty good. Probably give it a little extra little scoop on top. Ahí, para saborcito, sabroso. Papa, papa. And then you drop this. In here, you can have no water. It cannot be humid. It has to be made up. Sequecito, super dry. Why? Because then your coffee's gonna suck. It's gonna be watery and you're not gonna get enough epomita. You need the epomita. So once it's dry, come over here and you tighten it up. La prieta, la prieta, nice and snug. And we're ready. We're gonna set this to high because you want it to be really hot. We're gonna place your coffee maker on the stove and you're gonna open the lid. Why are you gonna open the lid? Because the very first coffee that comes out is the coffee that is richest and dark, and it's gonna make your most bubbles, your most suds, your most froth. Also, very important, this right here, notice how the little black handle, it's made of plastic, it's not above the stove, it's a little offset. Let's go get some sugar, azuquita. Okay, so what you wanna do now is you wanna get sugar for your coffee. So you're gonna put about six teaspoons of sugar. See, that's what it looks like. That's what it should look like, more or less. You don't want any humidity in here. It needs to be dry also. In this case, humidity is not your friend. I creo que bueno, el cafecito, I smell the coffee. Okay, we're getting the first brew. There it is. That is black gold right there, black gold. Eso es lo más rico. You gotta get a little bit of that. And mira, look, 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 look. How much you gotta put in there? Just something like that, just to get the consistency about right, un poquitico más, just the very, 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 why? Because it is the richest coffee. That is the richest, that's the richest part of the coffee, and that's what's gonna give you your comida. So now you just stir away, stir away. While that's still brewing, you're stirring. You got work to do. And you're gonna see that it changes colors. It goes from dark brown to lighter brown and lighter brown until it gets like, like a little paste. Listen, listen. Que cosa más rica, I wish you could smell that right now. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see what that's looking like? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is so good. That's what's gonna give you your froth, la pumita, la brew, what makes it a true Hialeah brew, you know? A true Hialeah brew. Pour our coffee in. The, a little trick you might wanna do right here, as you can see, is you clean your spoon with the hot coffee. Stir it. Stir it and look at look look at that. Look at that. And now this is the final little thing. You keep stirring till you hear all that sugar go away. All that sugar goes away. Now watch, I want you to listen to something. This is very important. Listen. Listen to the pitch go up slowly. You hear that pitch going up? That's your bubbles, that's your epumita. The more you do this, the more epumita you get. Okay, here it is, we have our Cuban coffee. Next step is we're gonna choose which coffee cup. There's different types, there's these, there's little paper ones. I am, personally, I love to comp compartir my cafecito 
in an American coffee shop. Why? Because it pays homage to America and Cuba, and that's what we're doing in the Cuban American kitchen. We're combining the two. So here we go. You shake it a little bit so you get the most froth out. You get it like that. And if you're really un, un glotón, and you scoop some out and go, Nagada. Bing bao. And there you have, ladies and gentlemen, your Cuban American coffee. Que cosa más rica. Disfruta.